Did you know? Johnny's lawyer wrecked Amber's lawyer's insane conspiracy for appeal. Amber's lawyer has stated that the actor will appeal the verdict and will be unable to pay the $10.4 million in damages awarded to Depp by the jury. She went on to say that social media and cameras in the courtroom made the trial a zoo. Continue watching the video to learn the rest of the story. In an exclusive interview, Amber Heard's lawyer stated that she believed Johnny Depp's legal team worked to demonize Heard and was able to suppress an enormous amount of evidence in Depp's defamation trial, which he won on Wednesday. That's because she was demonized here, Elaine Charlson, Reddy Hoff said of the verdict to Savannah Guthrie. A number of things were permitted in this court that should not have been permitted, and this confused the jury. Following a six-week trial, a jury awarded Depp $10.4 million in damages on Wednesday after three days of deliberation. Bredihoff stated that Heard is absolutely unable to pay Depp's damages. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so whenever we upload a new video you will be updated. Let's continue. The Pirates of the Caribbean star sued Heard for $50 million in connection with an op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018 in which she identified herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. Although Depp was not named in the story, his lawyers claimed that there was an implication that he was an abuser. He has denied all abuse allegations. After finding clear and convincing evidence that Heard defamed Depp in the op-ed, the jury awarded him $10 million in compensatory damages for lost jobs and career opportunities and $5 million in punitive damages. A circuit judge in Fairfax County reduced the punitive damages to $350,000 because that is Virginia's legal limit. From the beginning, regardless of the outcome, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, Depp said in a statement. I own it to my children and all those who have remained steadfast in their support for me to speak the truth. I'm relieved that I finally completed that. The verdict effectively rejected Heard's testimony that Depp had abused her physically and mentally. It's a horrible message, said Bretty Hoft. It's a major setback because that's precisely what it means. You won't be believed unless you take out your phone and record your spouse or significant other beating you. Bretty Hoft compared Wednesday's decision to a 2020 case in the United Kingdom in which Depp lost a libel lawsuit against The Sun, a British tabloid, for referring to him as a wife beater. And the court found there, and we weren't allowed to tell the jury this, Bretty Hoft said, that Mr. Depp had committed at least 12 acts of domestic violence, including sexual violence against Amber. What did Depp's team take away from this? Amber must be demonized, and the evidence must be suppressed. In this case, which was in the UK case, we had an enormous amount of evidence that was suppressed. When the case was heard in the United Kingdom, Amber won and Mr. Depp lost. Throughout the case, Heard faced constant vitriol on social media, whereas Depp received widespread support. Even though jurors were instructed not to look at social media, Bredihoff believed it had an impact on the case. There's no way they weren't influenced by it, and it was horrible, she said. It was extremely lopsided. The way they see this case is reminiscent of the Roman Colosseum. I was against cameras in the courtroom, and I went on record and argued against it because of the sensitive nature of the situation, but it turned it into a zoo. Heard, who countersued debt for $100 million, was awarded $2 million by the jury after the jury determined that one of Depp's statements was defamatory against her. Bredihoff stated that Heard intends to appeal the verdict. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence was not enough to stand up to my ex-disproportionate husband's power, influence, and sway," Heard said in a statement. Bretty Hoft also stated that Heard was disappointed by the verdict for reasons other than her personal stake in it. One of the first things she said was, I'm so sorry to all those women out there, said Bretty Hoft. This is a setback for all women in and out of the courtroom, and she bears the burden. And that's all for today's video. Do let us know what you think of this in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next one.